हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बैलेंस्ड मल्टी इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सॉल्यूशन वर्सेस सलाइन इन क्रिटिकली इल एडल्ट्स द प्लस स्टडी दिस वाज पब्लिश्ड लास्ट मंथ इन एनीजे फ्लूइड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज अ की कंपोनेंट ऑफ क्रिटिकल केयर थेरेपी मोस्ट फ्लूइड गिवन इन आईसीयू इज फॉर मेंटेनेंस एंड ड्रग डिलीवरी रादर देन रिससिटेशन द चॉइस ऑफ आईवी फ्लूइड इन्फ्लुएंस द पेशेंट आउटकम्स The most commonly used IV fluid in ICU is 0.9% normal saline. But because of the high chloride content, this is associated with acute kidney injury, hyperchloremia and acidosis and splanchnic hypoperfusion. The recent change in trends is increased use of the balanced salt solutions. But what about the recent literature? so these are few randomized control trials which compare normal saline versus buffered crystalloid so first one is the split trial here they involved the icu patients mostly they are the post elective surgical uh, procedure patients here the primary outcome was aki within 90 days and they found no difference between the two groups aki among the subgroups were also similar the smart trial involved critically ill patients who were admitted to icu the primary outcome of this study was make 30 that is major adverse kidney event at day 30 but they found it statistically significant different between the two groups it was higher 15.4% in the normal saline group versus 14.3% in the buffered crystalloid group this difference was also greater for patients with sepsis and those who received large volume of the isotonic fluid the salt ed trial it involves patients who were treated in the emergency department and subsequently hospitalized outside an icu but they found no difference in the primary outcome which was hospital free days but there was significant difference in the make 30 it was 4.7% in the buffered crystalloid and 5.6% in the normal saline group the recent one was the basic trial here icu patients with at least one risk factor for development of aki were involved in this study but here they found no difference in the 90 day survival so recent trials have conflicting outcomes so whether the use of a balanced solutions improve the outcomes in patients in icu is still uncertain so this plus study the hypothesis for this study was the use of a balanced multi electrolyte solution as opposed to the 0.9% normal saline for fluid resuscitation and therapy would result in reduced 90 day mortality this was an investigator initiated double blind parallel group randomized control trial with stratified block randomization this was uh, took place in 53 icus in australia and new zealand within a time period of september 2017 to december 2020 the population for this study were adult patients of age group more than 18 years for whom clinician intends to give fluid bolus and the requirement for the fluid resuscitation was supported by at least one of the seven pre specified clinical signs like heart rate of more than 90 systolic blood pressure of less than 100 mean atrial pressure of less than 75 cvp of less than 10 capillary refill time of more than 1 second and urine output 0.5 ml per kg per hr and those patients who are expected to be in the icu on three consecutive days the exclusion criteria were if there was specific fluid requirements like the burn patients so those are excluded and if the patients are traumatic brain injury patients or there is risk for cerebral edema they were also excluded from the study patients receiving disqualifying fluid resuscitation that is more than 500 ml of the fluid in the icu those patients with imminent risk for death and patients with pre existing life expectancy of less than 90 days were also excluded from the study the trial fluids were supplied in identical 1000 ml bags for op- 
up to 90 days after randomization, patient received the assigned trial fluid for all the fluid resuscitation and compatible crystalloid therapy in the ICU. The treating clinicians decided the amount and the rate of fluid administration. 5% dextrose solution were used to dilute the drugs for which either of the trial fluid was incompatible. And if there is specific crystalloid solutions is required which is clinically indicated then those were also allowed during that study period. Baseline data like the demographics, Apache 2 score, diagnostic workup for sepsis were collected. Then data recorded daily for 7 days were hemodynamic variables, volumes of the fluid and the blood products administered, the urine output, organ support, lab data and the SOFA score. Data collected daily for 90 days were ventilatory data, requirement of renal replacement therapy, cardiovascular SOFA score, serum creatinine level and the volume of the trial fluid given. The primary outcome for this study was the day 90 all cause mortality. Secondary outcomes were the peak serum creatinine level during the first 7 days, the maximum increase in the creatinine level during ICU stay, receipt of the new renal replacement therapy, Received and duration of treatment with vasoactive drugs, duration of mechanical ventilation in the ICU, length of ICU and hospital stays, death from any cause during ICU stay, during hospital stay and within 28 days. The primary outcomes were examined in 6 pre-specified subgroups. The subgroups were like age, sex, ICU admission after surgery, Apache 2 of more than 25, presence of sepsis and AKI. The statistical analysis was done on intention to treat basis. The primary outcome was analyzed unadjusted. Then it was analyzed after adjusting with the baseline covariates. Multiple imputations were done to account for the missing data. Sensitivity analysis were done to account for the receipt of open label saline and the plasma light excluding the affected patients. post op inverse probability weighting analysis of the primary outcome was done to account for patients in the balanced multi-electrolyte solution group who received the open label saline after randomization. This was done to reduce the contamination. The power calculation, initially the sample size was calculated to be 8800 uh, to provide a 90% power to detect an absolute difference of 2.9% in the 90 day of the all cause mortality from a baseline mortality of 23%. But the recruitment was stopped prematurely on December 2020 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The revised power calculation need 5000 patients to provide a 90% power to detect a 3.8% of the absolute difference in 90 day mortality. Now coming to the result, the so flow of the patients through the study, total 16,828 patients were screened for this study, out of which almost 12,000 patients were excluded and 5,037 patients were randomized into two groups. The most common criteria for exclusion was if the patient previously received the disqualifying fluid resuscitation prescribed in the ICU during the current ICU admission and if the patient transferred directly from other ICU and received the disqualifying fluid resuscitation. So those 5037 patients were divided into balanced multi-electrolyte solution group uh, where 2515 and 0.9% saline was 2522 patients. In the balanced multi-electrolyte solution group 96.7% were included in the day 90 analysis and in the 0.9% saline group, 95.7% were included in the day 90 analysis. So the populations of this study were representative of the patients treated in ICUs. The baseline characteristics for both the groups were similar. The mean age of the patients were 
the female patients were 37 percent the cause of icu admission almost 40 40 percent of the patients were of uh, post op cases either emergency surgery or elective surgery the median apache 2 square uh, was 19 almost 76 percent of the patients were mechanically ventilated at the time of randomization and uh, almost 43 or 44 percent of the patients uh, they had uh, sepsis at the time of randomization only 8 percent of the patients had trauma the clinical parameters like the creatinine level heart rate mean atrial pressure blood ph all those were similar in both the group regarding the trial fluids and other crystalloid administered during the study period so almost 96 percent of the patients got the assigned fluid over a period of median period of six days and median volume of the fluid administered was 3.9 liter in the balanced multi electrolyte solution group versus 3.7 liter in the ns this uh, panel b is showing the open label saline solution received in each group so it was almost 200 to 300 ml per day received in both the group and open label balanced salt solution received in each group was very less it was almost less than 100 over the seven days period so 63 percent of the balanced uh, solution group received 500 ml of the saline and only 3.5 percent of the saline group received 500 ml of the pl uh, plasma light Panel D uh, suggesting the open label crystalloid fluids received in each group. So the most common uh, crystalloids, open label crystalloids uh, was 5% dextrose which was used for the drug dilution. The treatment effect, so there was a change in the arterial blood pH was significantly different between the two groups. It was higher in the multi electrolyte solution group over the saline group. And if you see the serum chloride level, the serum chloride was higher in the saline group and uh, over the multi-electrolyte solution group and this difference was also statistically significant. Now the primary outcome. So 530 death occurred in each group which account for 21.8% in the plasma light group versus 22% in the saline group. So the unadjusted 90 day mortality was not different between not statistically significant between both the group as suggested in this kaplan meier curve. And after adjustment done uh, for the baseline covariates there is also no change in the result and multiple imputation also done to account for the missing data that also did not affect the result. Then the secondary analysis was done to exclude those patients who received more than 500 ml of the trial fluid for whom it was not assigned. So after excluding those patients there was also no change in the result. The primary outcome in the pre-specified subgroup was also not different between the two groups. In any of the subgroup it was not statistically significant difference was found in between the two groups. The secondary outcome was also not uh, statistically significant difference was found between the two groups. Death from any cause within the 90 days after randomization while in the ICU or in the hospital or the 28 day uh, death. All, both uh, these are similar in both the groups. Other binary outcomes like the receipt of new renal replacement therapy, receipt of the vasopressors, they are also similar in both the group. The maximum creatinine level in ICU during uh, day 1 to day 7 as shown in this uh, diagram was also similar in both the group. Days alive and free from mechanical ventilation, days alive and free from uh, vasoactive agents, days alive outside the ICU and outside the hospital. All are similar in both the groups. 
so this binational randomized trial comparing balanced multi electrolyte solution with saline for fluid therapy in adult icu patients did not show that 90 day mortality was lower with balanced multi electrolyte solution the use of saline resulted in a significantly higher serum chloride level and a lower ph than the use of the multi electrolyte solution but it had no significant effect on the kidney function the survival time time in the icu and in the hospital and other markers of the healthcare resources use were also similar in the trial groups limitations of this study so first one is the reduction in the size of the recruitment because of the covid-19 pandemic then most patients almost 55.5% of the patients had received normal saline within 24 hours prior to the randomization in the multi electrolyte solution group and 63% of the patients assigned to receive multi electrolyte solution they received more than 500 ml of the open label saline then there was no record of all the fluids the patient received outside the icu within the study 90 day period so this trial involving a heterogeneous population of critically ill adults the use of balanced multi electrolyte solution as compared to the 0.9% normal saline does not reduce the 90 day all cause mortality or risk of aki